and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. This is the Three Looks One palette with the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. So if you want to see this look and a couple others, then just keep on watching. Okay, so this is going to take me several days to do because this is the first look for my Three Looks in One palette with the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. I like I don't even know what I was doing with this, but I was like, yeah. I just stick random rounds so I call it a look. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lid with the Drawer Cosmetics Clean Canvas in Fair because it's my favorite. And I mean, yeah, it's my favorite. So I'm just going to apply that all over. This is pretty simple. I just, I think what took the longest for me was the adding the rhinestones and really just trying to figure out how I wanted to do it but once I got started I was like okay I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a little bit more of that clean canvas and just go in I'm gonna wing that out for this I'm using the Elizabeth Elizabeth Mott all over shadow brush just to apply that I'm gonna clean my brushes later uh, they really need it and this is just a wet and wild brush that I've had forever the coating is coming off it's just kind of my primer base kind of brush the first shade that I'm going to go into is chlorophyll and I, I cannot get over the shade it's probably my favorite and I'm just going to take my LaRue LR005 tapered blending brush I finally said that right and I'm just going to start to apply it towards the inner corner of my eye area, close to the bridge of my nose, and I'm just going to blend it up towards my eyebrow. I started doing my brows a bit different. Surprise, surprise. Not really. I had mentioned before that I probably would find a new way to do them. And I used to do the soap brow, and I couldn't figure it out. And now I've kind of been back into that. I was almost out of my got to be glued gel so I was like well I don't want to use all that just yet and I'm not like needing brows that are going to last forever so let's just try the soap and I was like okay I'm about living for this. Anyway I'm taking it on the inner corner of my eye and I'm just blending it over to about the arch of my brow all the way about halfway back and forth windshield wiper motions and circular motions back and forth for a more even blend and now I'm just going to clean that brush off I'm going to go into the shade golden age which is really really pretty I just love the like greens and yellows in this they are very earthy and I don't know I just feel inspired by them these shimmers are some of my favorite too oh my gosh but my only thoughts about that like downfall wise is I feel like I absolutely have to apply them with my finger it's easier that way and I don't necessarily like to stick my hands in any of my palettes but I'll do it I mean it's no big deal and for this shade after I'm doing circular motions I'm gonna go in and just pat that pat 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 all right and now I'm gonna take the same brush cleaned off and go into Earthship oh, I love that green and it's gonna come off quite dark, but that's okay. We're just gonna add a little bit of depth in that crease. We're focusing these three shades towards the inner corner area of our eye. About like that. I'm gonna just tap that right up here. Pat, pat, pat. All right, I'm gonna clean this brush off, but next up I'm gonna go into the shade Mint Fever, which is also one of my absolute favorites out of this palette. And I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics number two brush. It's tapered and it's like easy to blend with. This is kind of one of the things where I wanna be a little precise, but I don't need to be exactly too precise. So I'm gonna take in Mint Fever, or I'm going to take Mint Fever if I can talk today. And I'm just going to go ahead and run that through the center of my crease and kind of blend it upwards just to blend those shades together. And I'm going to take it about a third of the way, leaving the outer corner of my eye area ready for the next shade. So just blend a -roo. Get everything nice and blended. I am living. I love it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take my, this was a Luxie brush. It's the tapered blending brush. I've had it forever, the words are coming off. So I'm gonna take it in the shade 
N-O-U-V-E-A-U, -E which is a more kind of like brown pink, if that makes sense. And I'm just gonna apply it on the outer V of my lid and just pat that down. And I'm gonna kind of slightly wing it. About like that make a mess while I'm at it. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Sigma E25 brush and go into Peach Soju, which is a really pretty pink. And I'm going to just wing it out, blend it out, and blend it with the Mint Fever shade. Bring it upwards. I'm doing back and forth windshield wiper motions just to get the shape that I'm going for. And then I'm going to take that Luxie brush again with some more of that N-O-U-V-E-A-U -E shade. Can someone please pronounce that for me? I'm not quite sure on what that would be and I do not want to butcher it. And I'm just going to kind of make a little bit of a wing here. Get those nice and blended together, doing circular motions. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of Mint Fever just to get that nice and blended. And take a little tiny bit more of Chlorophyll just to make sure everything is nice and blended together doing back and forth windshield wiper motions all right so now i'm just going to take a little bit of that drawer cosmetics clean canvas in fair on that elizabeth mott brush and i'm going to put a little bit of it on the back of my hand and take my morphe m421 brush and just kind of kind of cut the crease out just a little bit I don't normally do it like this, but. All right, I'm just gonna use my fingy and I'm gonna go into Sun Gazer and apply that towards on the inner corner for the highlight and onto my lid a little bit. Just so we have that real bright inner corner. And it's gonna be messy, but I knew that I wanted it to be kind of messy, but also cute. So I'm going to go into Aloe Coat, which is the minty blue shimmer, and just kind of pat that down and blend those together. And I'm going to go into Stained Glass and apply it towards the outer bit of that base. And we are a hot mess. <laughs> I'm just going to clean my fingers off real quick. Wing it out. All right. So I'm going to take a little bit more of Mint Fever and just add a little bit more of it. And I'm going to take this Sigma liner brush and go into Earthship and just kind of create a little bit more depth. And then take a little bit more of chlorophyll to blend that out. All right, I'm gonna go and put on the gems and do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look. What do you think? I'm definitely getting like euphoria fairy vibes. I decided to go a little, a little ham sandwich with these rhinestones here on the bottom. But I was like, you know what? It's been a minute and this palette is inspiring. I just was like, okay, I need to figure out what to do. I'm losing my ear. No. I think it's just because of my ear. Anyway, I was like, I just need to figure out like what kind of colors, how to blend them together and everything. And I feel like I did it. Like, I really like them. Like, the, the shape, the colors, everything. I can't stop looking at it because it's like, it's not super dramatic. I mean, it kind of is. But it isn't like dark, bold colors. It's more pastel, like, kind of pastel. But just, it, it's really earthy and it really gave me fairy bobs. So, I was like, let me dig out my little elf ears and 
just do something. So yeah, I want to know what you think. Have you tried the Flower Punk palette? It is so, so gorgeous. I hope that I can include swatches. I think I'm going to try to do like a couple of videos of just like swatching my favorite palettes. But it is beautiful and I just like, I cannot even. I love it. The lipsticks, I've tried different ones. The formulas do seem a little bit different, like the nudes versus the more dramatic out of the ones that I've tried. I said that in my video that would probably went up a few weeks ago or a week ago, something like that. My first, I'll, I'll put it in the card right here or down below. But yeah, so like I tried the bluish kind of blue green lipstick and I found that it was weird. But I've been trying like the nudes and stuff and I really, so far, I, I, I like the nudes. That one I just feel like it could be my fault. I, I do believe that I said that before. But yeah, anyway, I feel like this look is so much fun and I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Hello, look number two. So now that my lids prime with the clean canvas, I'm taking my Sigma E25 brush and some of Noveo, and I'm just packing that down into the outer V of my crease, and I'm just kind of blending it outwards ever so slightly with back and forth windshield wiper motions, making sure that I have the color built up to my intensity preference on the outer corner of my lid, just kind of making a wing shape with it. Now with my LR005 blending, tapered blending brush, I'm taking Mint Fever and applying it onto my lid and into the crease and just giving it a nice little blend. I was going to get my hair done on this day, so that's why this is a voiceover. And yeah, anyway, it's it was a, it was a quick one. So I'm just going to blend that out and get it nice and blended with Noveo. Isn't Mint Fever just a gorgeous shade? I'm obsessed with mint and like pastel blues these days and... That, to me, is kind of weird for me because I'm always, like, into the darker, more bold colors, but I've been on a soft kick lately. Now I'm taking Peach Soju to blend out Noveo and just winging it out. I'm softening the edges and giving it a little blenderoo. I know that the theme is supposed to be, like, flowers and it's the Flower Punk collection, but to me, this palette just gives me the most fairy vibes, and I'm absolutely obsessed. I just, I don't know. I want to live my best fairy life with this palette. Have you tried anything from Kaleidos? Because this really makes me want to try more of their stuff. Like, it's so good. I hope everything else is as good as this because I really plan to order some more in the future. Using the old finger, I'm applying Aloe Cove to the center of my lid and kind of blending it into both of the shades that are on the lid. I feel like this really gives it that nice little pop of like dewiness, but Aloe Cove is such a beautiful shimmer shade. I'm obsessed. It's a like or super nice lid topper. It's just, I don't know. I, I really love it. Once you get that shimmer to the level of intensity that you would like for it to be, go ahead and start to touch up the shades on the lid. So I'm just kind of patting it along the edges of the shimmer. That way it's nice and kind of blended together. And it's just like, it goes from matte to sparkle to matte. And it just gives a nice dewy pop. And now I'm just going to clean up any fallout to get a nice sharp wing so I can add the gems. What do you think of this look? I love, love, love it. Okay, off to the next one. The final look for the three looks in one palette. I kind of thought about doing this a voiceover, but it's pretty quick, so it's like, eh, I don't really, uh, I don't really know. I'm just gonna take my LaRue LR005 tapered blending brush. I'm trying to say it the correct way because I rarely, rarely do. God, I'm stumbling over my words yet again. It's worse than my Ipsy video that I filmed last night. I'm going into mint fever. And what I'm gonna do here is just do a little blender, a little circular circular motions anyway I'm just doing little spinny spin spins getting this nice and blended I am going to take it about towards the arch of my brow just kind of get that nice and built up it's very pigmented but I also just want to be able to work in the next shade that I'll be taking now I'm just going to take a little bit of peach soju and just 
pop it into the crease just give it a little pat if you hear a noise like something rattling around my cat is in here and he has found something to play with and he's being so good he was such a good boy I'm just gonna take that into the crease about halfway oh there he goes he's so full of energy he loves to play he was in here while I was doing my other eye and he wasn't really doing much of anything but he's like oh mama's filming I gotta play I love watching him play <laughs> oh the brush that I used for that was one that I've gotten out of a profusion palette I really do like the brush it's quite nice now I'm gonna take my ColourPop E1 brush and a little bit of Earthship what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to pat that on the outer V of my lid and work it into the crease. I'm just doing patting motions for now. I'm gonna bring it about halfway as well. Now I'm just doing circular motions to get that blended in. I'll have to go in and touch it up just a little bit here in a few minutes. So now I'm gonna take the same brush that I used for Pink Soju and I'm going to apply no no veil and just pat it on the lid get it blended with that pretty baby pink shade get it nice and pat it down just pat it down i feel like this is like an elegantly messy kind of look and i feel like that's fun there's just something about this palette that's like let your creativity take over i'm just gonna blend that a little bit got this brush cleaned off i'm gonna go into chlorophyll just blend out that pink soju shade it's so gorgeous i'm just doing circular motions now i'm gonna touch up pink soju i'm gonna clean the brush off and i'm gonna go into chlorophyll and just touch it up a little bit doing little patting motions here these all blend so well. Now I'm going to touch up Earthship with that ColourPop E1 brush real quick. I'm going to just pat it down. really, really want to do like a grungy look. If I can get this finished, I'll store all my three looks in one palette video with the Glamlot and Michaela palette. And I wonder if I can do like a nice little pop a grunge moment. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. Now I'm just going to take this brush, the LR005 Taper Brush from LaRoop and touch up Mint Fever and blend Earthship out quite nicely. I feel like this does blend it out very nicely. And I'm just going to take a little bit more of Earthship to bring that back I'm just patting it kind of doing little circular motions I do have a video that I am going to film between looks for the three looks in one palette with the Michaela palette I did a really pretty purple look with the blends palette purple you know and I used some Cleona shades and then I have my cousin that was like, oh, I love that look. And I was like, thank you. I'll do a tutorial on it. So I'm going to do that. And then there was some very nice people that I met at the Dollar General. And they really liked it. So I really, if if they come across me, I would like to have that there. Just so they know, like, what I did. Anyway, that's a little tangent. But I'm just going to use the old fangy and go into Sun Gazer. And oh my gosh, when I tell you, this is one of the most beautiful colors I'm just gonna pop it right down the middle and kind of work that up to that brow bone. And it's gonna be quite messy. That's the fun of it. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Okay. I love it. So I'm just gonna take that off with my finger real quick because I don't wanna get shimmery goodness all over the place. I do have it on my face, huh? Yep. I'm gonna get that off. Woo! I need some more micellar water for this one. Quick little cleanup. Have you watched my Michaela and Glamlight review video? I was so, 
so like excited but yet bummed out at the same time because there was like five minutes of footage that I didn't realize was like kind of blurry and I was so let down by that. But I was also really excited because I felt like I worked really hard on that video. And so like I included the swatches and I did the look and I was like, oh, I did the look and then I got it like 15 minutes worth of tutorial, I think. And then it was like 30 minutes of swatches and I was like, <laughs> so I was proud of myself for not taking forever to like explain things when it come to like the look. But I also was like, why did it take so long to swatch, <laughs> you know? Okay, so now that I have that kind of cleaned up, I don't know why I decided to do a cleanup. I don't know why I decided to do a cleanup because I know I'm gonna take a little bit more shimmer. So I'm gonna take some of stained glass and just kind of like get it nice and kind of blend it with that nice little shift in shades. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of aloe cove and just kind of like slightly pat that on there. Because I talk too much, I just, and my camera cut off, so I don't know where it cut off. So I added a little bit of stained glass right here so there's a nice little shift there. And then I added the smallest amount of aloe cove right here. But now I'm just gonna go in and touch the colors up, get them nice and blended together. Taking some of Noveo and just popping that on and just like touching the edges of that stained glass shade to get it nice and blended together. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of Earthship and just kinda stamp it. Have a more seamless blend. I love it. Okay, I am gonna take just a little bit more of Mint Fever. Give it a nice little baby, 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 baby blender. I know I'm extra. I'm really excited that I feel like I can be more of myself. Like I feel like I'm finally getting comfortable with the camera. And so like I'm excited to make friends and just be me. And yeah, hopefully I can let everybody kind of get to know me a little bit through my weirdness. <laughs> I am going to take my BH Cosmetics number no. six brush and a tiny bit of stained glass. And what I'm gonna do is pop that in here on the inner corner for an inner corner highlight. All right, so I'm gonna go and do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I really like it. For the lower lash line, I just used like that peach soju and the mint fever. And then for the center, I used the same shade from here that I can't quite remember the name of. I have something itch in the side of my nose. That's quite uncomfortable. Let me try to do something about that. All right, so what do you think? Have you tried the Flower Punk palette? Did you pick up anything from the collection? Let me know. And if you'd like to see more looks with it, please do let me know what you want to see down below because I feel like I've hit pretty much every shade. Actually, I'll grab it and we'll go through them. With these three looks and the one that I did prior, I have ended up using all of the shades and I do have some favorites. So, I mean, I'll talk about them real quick if you're interested. Sun Gazer, the center of the lid shade the green sparkly obsessed chlorophyll i love it stained glass has a beautiful shift to it and i do feel like it would work best as maybe like a lid topper while it is a shimmer it looks so much better applied over any of these shades i've really only tried it like kind of over either one of these so that is an excellent lid topper. This is beautiful, especially like when it was kind of on earth ship, it had the most beautiful shift. Anyway, yeah, I just, I think that this is a fun palette. And I did see kind of a little bit of drama going around <laughs> that was saying that people feel like this is a ripoff of Melt Cosmetics palettes. And honestly, I really don't think so. I own quite a few Melt Cosmetics palettes. I have She's in Parties, Millennial Pinks, the Gemini palette, Vita and Muerte. 
and radioactive and the Beetlejuice collection palettes like the waiting room and the waiting room. Well, I don't remember the name of the other one. It's over there. I mean, I can show you all my melt palettes if you're interested, but I do have Gemini over here because that's one that I really like. I'm going to reach forward. Hi, how you doing? We're close today. Oh, <sighs> all right. So right here I have the Gemini, which I did get a little bit of Gemini vibes from the half of the palette that has the greens, like these four shades right here, but in no way did I really see it as being a dupe or a copy of the Gemini palette. Let me hold them up beside each other because I really just I don't see it. I mean, if you see it, please let me know, but like, let's do like this. Oh, oh yeah, it's magnetic. I forgot, but on these four shades up here and while earthship and leo look kind of similar i don't feel like they really are now goals and sun gazer they look kind of similar but sun gazer isn't as dark and the chlorophyll literally doesn't really look like either mochi or fire og it doesn't really look like either of those and then like golden age doesn't really look like any of them either so i don't feel like kaleidos ripped off melt but for the hell of it let's do some swatches just since i brought it up just to bring something to the table all right so this is leo now if you watch my michaela and glam light video we know that swatches is not my thing so i'm gonna just go ahead this is leo i don't have a base down on my arm or anything but let's do this. All right, so here's Leo. We have it, okay. Nice and pretty green here. And then this is gonna be Earthship. Get it nice and swatcheroo. I feel like these ones are kind of close in a sense, but to me, Leo is more of a darker green to where Earthship has more of a earthy, woody kind of green brown. So to me, they don't really look the same. I mean, they do, but they don't. I don't think that they're an exact carbon copy by any means. So let's do Mochi and then Golden Age beside each other real quick. So here we have Mochi. Let me get some more on the end here because my swatches are awful. So there's Mochi, right? And this is gonna be Golden Age. And these ones are very, already I can tell that they're very different colors. Mochi and Golden Age. I feel like they're fairly different. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe off my fingers because they are very, very different variations of greens and yellows take that off there real quick let's do the shimmers now i'm gonna put goals here and then i'm gonna put sub gazer beside it i mean i really don't feel like fire og would well i haven't swatched that one i'm gonna put that one first and then we'll see if it matches any of the other shades but i don't feel like it does okay so i feel like if fire og and Leo had a baby, it would be Earthship. Let me put Earthship beside it. So this is Fire OG and Earthship beside each other. Now I can see a little bit of a similarity, but not just a whole lot. It's still, see Earthship is right here and right here. So for comparison with it by Leo and comparison of it besides Fire OG, I don't even think, yeah, we're kind of in here. So like while they, are kind of alike they're also pretty different i'm gonna just go into goals and then sun gazer give it a nice little swatch oh i hate myself why do i keep trying to act like i can sing because i definitely can't because i'm obnoxious okay this is goals you can't really see it can you sorry about that okay Goals. And now let's do Sun Gazer. Oh, I love the shade. So, oh, 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 oh. I haven't really had a chance to like sit down and swatch this palette. I've just been using it. 
but this is just freaking beautiful. I'm not hating on either brand either because I love Mel and I love this palette from Kaleidos. This is my first purchase from them and I really kind of want to buy some other stuff from them because if it's as good as this has been to me, then I'm just about it. So now we have the swatch one. So the, oh, even looking at my fingers too, like, anyway, this is Goals and this is Sun Gazer. I feel like they're quite different. What's your opinion? I want to know. Just felt like this would be a good conversation starter. So what are we thinking? I just felt like it'd be a fun idea to just go ahead and do these swatches for comparison because I have heard rumors about people on the internet side eyeing Kaleidos over this. So I don't know. I mean, I don't really feel like they're super close, but let's have a conversation about it, shall we? <laughs> okay, this has been very weird. It like, took a completely different route than what I had planned. So if you like this video and you know you wanna help me out, let YouTube know that I might be a little bit interested, could you please give my video a thumbs up? It would really mean a lot to me. If you would like to see more of my awkward face and shenanigans while I'm not here on YouTube, I will have all my social medias down below. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. And if you would like to keep up with me while I'm here, if you would hit that subscribe button, it would mean so much to me. I would be so thankful because I just love trying to teach the ways that I do my makeup. I try to do, it, it, I, I don't know if I come off as proper, I, I don't, I'm not a very proper person person but I mean like I try to teach things to make it easier because when I was first starting out with makeup I found the more in-depth videos to be the ones that were the most useful so I know sometimes that can be boring when I'm just like explaining what I'm doing but I do know that there are some people that might just be starting out and want to learn and I would love to be able to help so if you're into that kind of stuff if you're into random ipsy videos unboxings stuff like that then that's pretty much what I am right now. I gotta, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out some fun content though, but I really do enjoy doing the tutorials, but I do wanna do some chit chat, get ready with me videos and shop my stash and stuff like that. So if you'd like to see that, please do let me know. Anyway, I'm getting a little rambly here and yeah. Anyway, don't forget to use the hashtag slightly unblended for your chance to be featured in an upcoming video. And I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye.